So I am back from Italy, okay? I was doing some transfer stuff out there, wink, wink. Now, I know you guys are missing your weekly episodes of transfers, okay? So I've got some big ones this weekend, okay? We're going to do a double upload weekend, okay? A double upload. That's right, ladies and gents. Not only was the last episode of Confirmed Transfer, bang! The biggest episode of all time, hitting 20,000 likes. Because it hits such big targets, 20,000 likes is like four times the target or whatever I set. Today, we're going to do a Confirmed Transfer episode, and tomorrow, we're going to do a rumoured one. Okay, so two episodes in one weekend to make up for not having one in the week, okay? And obviously for you guys smashing the love. If you want to see a rumor transfer tomorrow, okay, a double transfer weekend, drop a like in this video down below. If we can get 5,000 likes before midnight today, so before midnight today, the episode is coming tomorrow for you guys. Confirmed it's today. Transfer rumors tomorrow. It's going to be massive. And if you guys want to open any FIFA packs or buy any FIFA coins, check out footbomb.com in the description down below. Use Ross in the checkout page for a 10% discount. I'm not sure you're ready for this confirmed transfer episode, lads. We've got five massive players. Okay, stick around for the player at the end because he is the biggest player in the world. Okay, I'm not even joking. The biggest player in transfer history. The first player then we got is Faguli. Now, this guy, I could have said his name so wrong, couldn't I? So, I guess I'll get a little bit of stick for that if I do get it wrong, but hopefully I'm right. This guy was a big player at Valencia. 144 appearances, scoring 20 goals for them. Now, he's moved to West Ham, the Premier League. Okay, everyone knows West Ham had an amazing season. So, he's moved to West Ham. God. God. Ah. I need a proper transfer centre like Sky Sports or something. What is this situation I'm in here? So he has recently signed a three-year contract with West Ham. Okay, he ran down his Valencia contract. So it basically his contract was over. There was no transfer signing fee. And he's joined West Ham on a three-year deal. That's a pretty good signing for them. This guy is only 26 years of age as well. So he's pretty young. He's got a lot of years ahead of him. And looks like West Ham, you know, pushing forward, making some good signings, some good transfers for the next Premier League season. All right, lads, we've got a massive player. Okay, this guy's been linked with so many clubs throughout the years. Okay, and he's finally laid down a transfer and he's laid down to a pretty big club for decent money as well. We have Nicholas Gaitan. This guy is signed from Benfica to Athletic in Madrid and now the transfer fee is believed to be 25 million euros and he's set to sign a contract with the Spanish club after his medical exams in July. Okay, so the deal's been done. Got a medical in July. I mean, it's pretty big. 28 years of age. This guy's been linked with so many clubs before. I think Man United was supposed to be getting him a couple of seasons ago. Liverpool probably been linked with him. Chelsea probably. I mean, he's been linked with so many clubs. Finally gone to Athletic in Madrid who are obviously one of the biggest clubs in the world. As you can see, his 85 rated card is the highest stars in FIFA at the minute. And uh, he actually looks like he's, he suits an Atletico badge next to him. It kind of looks like it just works. I don't know why, it just does. But anyway, very good stats on the player. Looks like he's going to do well. He has done well. He's had a good career so far. Can he take it to the next stage at Atletico? We will find out this season. If you look at the two transfers so far, two wide players for Gouli and obviously Gaitan. Two very good players who've done it at a decent level. We'll take up a notch, okay? We'll go to another player now who's looking like a big prospect. We we have Eric Bailey or Bali. I'm not too sure how to pronounce this one. I could easily get that one wrong. This guy is a centre back. He's very young. Looks like he's very good as well. He signed a four year contract with Manchester United. Okay, so one of the biggest clubs in the world. Man United has signed a, a centre back now, which we've been crying out for, I suppose, for a while now. 30 million euros, I believe, the fee is for this guy. What you guys may not be aware of, he has the additional option of having uh, his contract extended by two years. We signed a four year with a potential of six year contract, which is massive in football. It's huge. Only 22 years of age, so, you know, only a little bit older than me and he's doing big things in the football world so fair play to him a fair play to getting that Man United signing apparently this guy is Man United's fifth ever African signing as well so it's pretty big for, on a personal level for him uh, only being the fifth African Man United I've ever signed because that's pretty big right for as a player coming in but what did Mourinho sell him? well I'm going to tell you what Mourinho sent him Eric is a young central defender with great natural talent he has progressed well to date and has the potential to become one of the best around Mourinho saying he's going to be one of the best potential centre backs in the world that is a huge statement so fair play to the lad. Can he take it that way? We'll find out this season again. Ho, 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 ho. The biggest transfer of the episode. As you know, because the fifth one is going to be the biggest. But the fourth biggest. Or no, second biggest. I mean, I'm just getting confused at this point. We have Pajanic, okay? This guy is signed from Roma to Juventus. I was in Rome the time he signed, okay? So uh, that's a little bit weird. I mean, I've never been to Italy before. And it just happens to be I was in Rome when the like, biggest Rome player signs for, you know, other rivals in Italy. I mean, it's pretty it's weird, right? It's crazy. So this guy's joined on a five-year contract, which is huge for a fee of 32 million euros, and uh, like I say, a five-year stint, okay, at Roma, is led to a five-year contract at Juventus. That's pretty crazy. If you look how good his card is as well, that 91 rated team this season card, that Juventus next year, him and Pogba in the middle there, it it Italian football, you know, Juventus, are just they're just heating things up. They're just putting the pressure on other teams. So fair play to him. He's guaranteed pretty much success for Juventus, the team they have at the minute. I mean, he's going to win the league probably at some stage, so he's made a good signing for him on a personal level, and it's a fantastic signing 
signing for the club, um, you know, linking out Pogba and stuff in the middle. I mean, it's a fantastic player, fantastic signing. Juventus, you're taking it to another level. But lads, we have the biggest transfer of all time. This isn't just any player. This is one that's just, you know, taken the world by storm throughout all of his career. And, you know, he's a worldwide global name and a global star. This, ladies and gents, is going to be the biggest signing of the transfer window so far. We have the one. We have the only. Steve Sidwell. Okay, so he was at Brighton on loan last year. You know, 16 appearances, one goal for them. And he's earned a permanent deal. It's fantastic transfer. Stoke to Brighton. It's a permanent deal. He's done business here. We've done a lot of business in this transfer window. But Steve Sidwell, you've done the biggest. He has signed a massive one-year contract with them. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this transfer series, make sure you do drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Obviously, Steve for Sidwell was a little bit of a joke. I've got four other massive players. And Steve just thought about the fitting as the fifth, really. If you want to see a rumour transferred one tomorrow, make sure you do drop a like and a thumbs up down below. 5,000 likes. Let's do it. Before midnight. It's coming tomorrow. I can feel it. It's big already. It's massive. Hopefully, have a good weekend. Take it easy. Peace.